Well, hello there and welcome to Novella Sims. I'm Novi and today you are watching the Pearson Legacy University Part 6. I just want to mention that, that there may be some background noise in today's episode. We are having a heat wave here in the UK, so I've got my windows open, I've got the fans on, but I'm hoping it won't disturb the episode too much, so let's get down to business. Okay guys, so just to recap the previous episode, Brienne really focused on her skills and managed to really advance herself. She is now a level eight in the street art skill. I can't believe how quickly she's actually gone up in that skill. At the end of the last episode, she was actually working on a, a floor mural, or ground mural, sorry. And this is the mural that she ended up completing. I really love the artwork that comes in Sims 3 University. It's so cool. And there was a message that said that this is a mural with a message. So I'm guessing that these are extremely important people, perhaps in, a re in the re rebel movement, the anti-government movement or whatever it is. Um, and so that managed to push her up to a level four in the rebel social group. And it also um, managed to prompt some new wishes for her. So now she wants to master her street art skill. She wants to actually complete a hunger strike. That's something new that came with rebel level four and she also wants to complete a mural for tips which we haven't actually done yet so i think that'll be really interesting to try so today i definitely want to try and do a hunger strike with brienne um because we haven't done any protests or anything like that yet so i think that will be really cool i'm guessing after that mural she's feeling extra motivated today and then in regards to her relationship she she went on well she was supposed to go on a date with ludo but it kind of didn't happen before we knew it she was just back home so i don't quite know what happened there um obviously she's still got her thing with him that it's not gonna fizzle out until she realizes he's truly evil um so i've assumed but we'll find out um she has become friends with shay which i think is cool and i think he will lead her down like the green party rebellious route as opposed to ludo who's kind of like let's crash all the systems in the world because <laughs> he's an evil genius is how i see it so we'll see i definitely want to see if she can get some new um rebellious friends because I know down here we've tried with Derek. Derek is not interested and we're not interested in Derek. He is not a good person. Um, Jeffrey Dean seems really cool, seems laid back. It might be nice to get him. It might be nice to get to know him. And then there's also Riley Woods as well, who um, also seems pretty cool. So we'll definitely see if we can make um, Brienne some more rebel friends. I definitely want her to have her own little defined friendship group. So Blake has managed to retain his title as king of campus with his raging party that he threw and got shut down by the police. So his reputation is definitely growing. He's now level four in jock. He did lose his nerd influence. It went all the way to zero. But after interacting with Esther Atkins, who's a level 10 nerd, she really brought out his inner nerd and he went from zero to level three in literally one conversation. So I'm thinking Esther will be a really good friend for Blake to have along with Ray, who is also a nerd. Blake took his shot with Ashley and he got shut down. Um, so I think he'll give it a go. He doesn't, he's not sure if he's getting mixed signals from Ashley or what. I don't think he thinks it's a serious thing, but hey, if she's game, he's game. That's all I can say. Um, so I'm just going to wait for Brienne to take care of a few of her needs before we go ahead and organize that hunger strike with her today. Um, and then we will touch base with Blake later. I'm thinking after being shut down by Ashley, maybe he does want to hang around with nerds. Maybe he feels more confident hanging out with nerds so we might get to the comic book store actually because i don't think we've been there yet in this um series so we'll give that a go and i will touch base with you guys shortly okay so brienne's finished taking care of most of her needs so i'm gonna go ahead and send her where do i actually send her i think there's a place where you organize the protest on the podium is it in the coffee shop or is it in the grotto let's go to the coffee shop and when Blake finishes, I'm definitely going to send him down to the annex and get him to the annex or the stadium. And yes, we'll get him to play a collegiate sport. Oh, what collegiate sport do you think suits Blake? <laughs> I feel like he would beat lacrosse, but I feel like that's too posh. Um, baseball, cricket, rugby. Oh, let's go tennis. I actually really like tennis. Okay, so Brienne has made it to the coffee shop and I definitely want her... Oh, this was a new thing that came up as well um, for being a level four rebel. Say what's wrong with the world. So I'm going to let her go on a speech and really say what is wrong, why she wants to perhaps organise a hunger strike. Is a hunger strike a protest? Let me just quickly check. Yep, schedule a protest. So we'll definitely do that. What do you think she's saying? I think vote out Trump, free healthcare for everyone, Black Lives Matter... Let's make a change for climate change. 
There's a war in Syria and Yemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Cool, so we get to choose our protest location. We could either do it at the park or at the quad. I definitely like doing it in the university hangout. So let's go ahead and do that. Is that it? You just announce it. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, I think three. Okay, so what type of protest? Oh, it's going to be a hunger strike. Okay, so you get to do protests and you get to do hunger strikes. This is going to be a hunger strike. It's going to kick off. It's like 2 p.m. now. So let's say 4 p.m. Oh, and what are we doing? We don't want anything too difficult considering we've never actually done this before. Oh my God, masks. How appropriate is this for the current COVID situation? <laughs> Please wear your mask, okay? You're protecting people, you're protecting yourself. So yes, let's totally do that. Let's go ahead and we are having our protest today. Oh, so as Brienne actually got to the coffee shop, she actually did get an invitation to a party by Ludo. We'll just see what time it is. I think it might conflict with our hunger strike. Hmm, it starts at 6 p.m. I'll say I'll be there, but no promises. Mm. Okay, so I think once Brienne's done that, <laughs> look at Muggsy. He's still in his toga outfit. Um, we'll give him a friendly introduction and we will give him a protest flower. Uh, flyer sorry uh maybe try giving a flyer oh he's a rebel go ahead and give a flyer to kyle please brian are you gonna do anything what's happening oh what is blake doing that oh he's at he's gone to the collegiate sport place wow blake pearson is now a party sponge within the docs group so he's gone up just by playing collegiate sport he's now level five awesome Right, Brian. I don't know what is going on with you and these guys. Can you go over here? Are you stuck or is it those guys who are stuck? Please give out your protest flyer to at least one person. <gasps> Otherwise, your thing is not going to go well. She ran over here. Ooh, where, did that go? where did that girl go? I feel like everyone is glitching out. She's in the bookcase. <laughs> She's literally trying to hide in the bookcase from Brienne. She's like, I don't want to go to no stupid protests. We need to give a flyer to at least one person. Oh no, it's too late. We've got to go. We're going to the protest. <laughs> okay, Brienne, what have you got up your sleeve? Oh, Are you hungry? I swear you ate breakfast. Oh, it's part of the strike. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay, come on. Lead a chant, rile the crowd, and give an impassioned speech. We've got to make this good, even though there's no one here. I feel like Blake would come over and support his sister, so I'm just going to ask Blake to jog here. Why not? I'm guessing he's close. Seriously, who is calling in the middle of your protest? How do I make it stop? Come on, Brienne. Oh, seriously, who is calling us? <gasps> Whoopsie, was that feedback? I swear to God, if this is Ludo, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, all of these guys are complaining. They're all on the hunger strike. I love it. Come on, Brienne, lead another chant. Rile the crowds and impassioned speech, please. There are so many people here. We are for the many, not for the few. <laughs> By any means necessary. Oop, you, you don't want that feedback, Brienne. <laughs> Oh, everyone's got the negative mood lit from this hunger strike. But uh, it's for a super good cause, guys. So she's still going to give an impassioned speech, lead a chant, rile up the crowd, and give an impassioned speech again. So it looks like people are responding really, really well to it. So I'm excited. Oh, and look who's turned up. <laughs> I'm sure Blake is very happy with his sister at the moment. He's thinking about what she's doing and that is so super awesome. I wish he got the wish to join the protest, but I might just make him do it anyway. Can you do it? 
No, there we go. Let's join the protest, Blake. Come on, support your sister. So Blake Pearson still just attended a protest. He won't forget the time he stood up to the establishment. Protest that Brienne organised is succeeding. Awesome. Um, Blake has reached level four of his athletic skill and we've still got that party but oh it looks like our protest is going on they're quite long events <laughs> it looks like Steve is really feeling it a he's still in his toga he's got a serious mood look over here and he's got the oh no mask we're not protesting against masks we're protesting for masks but it's okay <laughs> E A, listen, we need more skin tones. Yay! Let's go! In The Sims 4. <laughs> the Sims 3 is perfectly fine. The protest that Brienne Pearson and Steele organized was a huge success. Yes, look at the crowds here. Oh my god, I love it. There's so many of them here. Oh, I love this. They're super celebrating. So many people turned out to support. Well done, Brienne, on your very, very first protest. Oh, I love the confetti. It's awesome. Brienne is super stoked and she's got a new moodlet, Victorious Protest. Making a difference through a successful protest sure feels great for Brienne. Another one is definitely in order. Yes, absolutely. So just checking the time. So it looks like protests are four hours. So you really do like need a good section of time that you're going to dedicate to it. Oh, everyone's going. What are you doing? Oh, capture the moment. I love that he's doing that automatically. It's like, look at smile, Brienne. <laughs> I hope you snapped her. Let, let's actually do that. I think that'd be super cool with his jungle phone. Not a self portrait. Uh, take a photo, please. I want you to take a photo of your sister after her successful protest. No, Brienne, seriously. Oh my God, that is so freaking typical. <laughs> Um, yeah, the photography skill actually came with university as well. So if you didn't have World Adventures, I forgot about that. You could do it in university. Um, so yeah, I am wondering, uh, it's 9 p.m. and these guys have class tomorrow. What are their schedules actually? Have they got a morning? Oh, we can check our class schedules. Wait, when did our panels come up? I'm sure it wasn't there this morning, but let me just quickly check. Okay, so Blake has actually got a 12 p.m. start, so that's not bad. Um, Brienne, yeah, you've got an 8 a.m. start. <laughs> and I didn't realize that the bars stay the same. They don't reset, um, especially because you had the exam. Okay, so that's cool. I feel like, Brienne, to solidify your protest, you might try and do a mural for tips. I think that will be... Um, a good thing. I know it's something you want to try. So try doing a ground mural. Let's do a medium one so it won't take too long. Nah, screw it. Let's do a large one. You want to make a statement. Let's do a large ground mural. Let's just do it here. And yeah, I'm sure that will be good. And um, Blake, since you've got a bit of time, I know it's late, but I definitely still want him to go to the comic book shop. I feel like maybe seeing Brienne do a protest and really just find her voice. I feel like Blake, as we know, is still trying to find his voice. Um, so I, I really want him to maybe meet up with Esther uh, and they'll go to the comic book shop together. Hopefully she is free and she won't say no. So let's see. Sure. Sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Awesome. Okay, so Blake has reached Keith Comics and Esther is on her way. I don't know why she looks so sad. What happened, Esther? Who upset you? Well, hopefully Blake can put a smile on your face. I love her t-shirt. Is that three llamas? Three llamas in the moon? Oh my gosh. The Sims 4 could never. <laughs> oh, she's hungry. I don't know if she'll stay long then if she's super hungry. But we will see. Let's just greet her. And we will show her a funny uh, Internet Cats video. I feel like nerds would love that. Cats playing the piano or something. <laughs> I need to give some makeovers to some of the Sims. So I'll definitely make sure I do that as we are starting a new turn. 
Oh my gosh, Brienne Pearson still is now at level nine. Um, she's getting really close to mastering the street art skill. Now that the ideas are much easier for her to create and the chances of creating a ground mural masterpiece are more likely. Yes, we need some masterpieces um, for our lifetime wish. So that is super awesome. Okay, so these guys are getting on. I definitely want to take a look at Keith's comics and see what they can do inside. I love spotting the jocks in their togas. Skip is still in his toga. Um, what can you guys do together? Okay, so this place is pretty chill. It's like an internet cafe almost. You've got TV, you've got some of the game stations. Oh, it's quite big. Oh, here's the comic book store. This place is actually quite a big lot. It's a, almost as a two or three like shops together. It looks so cool. Um, but I think I'll get them to come and play at this machine together. It looks like she's chaired up just a little bit. <laughs> And Blake gets to live out some of his inner nerd things. It's so cool that you've got these things in university, like these tables, these machines. It's awesome. Is it over? No, okay, good. I was gonna say, because you've paid 10 simoleons for this, so it can't be over that quick. <laughs> Wait, do they pay twice? <laughs> Blake is literally in such deep concentration. <laughs> I swear I love the animations. I love the detail that they've done with this. It's so cool. Okay, we are done. Oh, Blake looks so sad. Did he lose or something? I wouldn't be surprised. She's a level 10 nerd. Uh-oh. <gasps> Wait, Brienne painted a masterpiece? Oh. Brienne's spray can sputters and her heart flutters. This masterpiece is a world distorting statement. Wow, let's check it out. You finished, so I'll let you go home because it's midnight and you've literally got class in, yep, eight hours. I don't know why I always do this to her. I feel so bad. <laughs> Well, guys, would you get a look at that? I love this so much. It's like, you're the smartest girl in the universe. Is that, that's what the, that's the name of this thing. You're the smartest girl in the universe. That's what it looks like. That is so gorgeous. I swear, The Sims team, nah, you know, EA, the potential, the talent that's there. No, I'm clapping because I like it so much. <laughs> that is definitely worthy of the masterpiece accolade, definitely. Let me just quickly check Brienne's things. What does she get? Urban masterpiece. Struck by a lightning bolt of inspiration, Brienne created a true street art masterpiece. Society quakes beneath her feet. I can believe that. Not only did she do a proper protest today, but she did her first masterpiece. I think it's inspiration following inspiration. That is super awesome. So Brienne's gonna go home and get some rest and prepare for her next day. Um, we'll just quickly follow. Up. We'll quickly um, finish up with Blake and Esther and send him out and send him home also. So Blake is just talking to Esther a little bit more. He's showing her a funny video. They'll talk about uni for a little bit. They are now new friends, which I think is awesome. He makes friends with the nerds so much more quickly than he does with the jocks. It's kind of crazy. And I love how it really falls into Blake actually truly being a, a nerd on the inside, but he doesn't want to admit it. He's definitely living up and trying his best to be a jock on the outside. But I think being a nerd just comes so naturally to him. I'll see what other special interactions we can do with Esther. Oh, he wants to use the loo. But yeah, I think he'll infuse about comic books and boast about his gamer skills. And then I would definitely let him go home. Or is it over? Oh, it's over, okay. <laughs> what a great time everyone was pleased with the outing and will be excited to go out again okay i guess she was too hungry to stay that's fine so blake is just quickly using the bathroom but before he goes i definitely want him to come and buy some comics so i'll make sure he buys one just before he goes home okay so blake is just going to buy his first comic book i can't wait to see what he picks up oh the lighting has changed did the, all the lights just go off oh is the place closed 
no <laughs> it closes at 2 a.m i completely forget that like it's not 24 hour thing but never mind he'll make sure he can come back and get this another time so i'm gonna send blake home go to bed and then we will catch up with these guys in the morning okay guys so i do go ahead and end this episode a little bit more earlier than expected um i do continue to play on um it's just that i have another 45 minutes um worth of footage to edit and compress down and i just thought i'm not going to be able to compress 45 minutes um into a five minute or 10 minute addition to what we've got so far so i do go ahead and put that in the next episode Usually when I make my videos, I record for about 50 minutes and then I just cut things out and edit it down. So it's in between 25 to 30 minutes. That's the type of length I like for my videos. I like watching long videos, so that's why I do long videos. I know some people maybe prefer quite shorter ones, but I just feel like, what can you show me in 15 minutes? Like I need to see a good episode and it needs to be a minimum of 20 minutes long. That's what I look for when I'm watching sim videos anyway. But I thought I would go ahead and leave you with um, some mini makeovers of Blake and Brienne. I thought because they're starting a new term, we could also say maybe it's a new year of university. Um, I thought it'd be nice for them to have a fresh look for another session of uni basically so i go ahead and leave brienne in a dungaree style of dress um of course all in blue because that's her favorite color i'm really not sure if it's her style i think i'm still trying to figure out brienne's style you know her her first outfit was quite funky and this one is quite different to that but we're, we're figuring it out um i go ahead and give her the university earrings i feel like they're the showpiece of her outfit um they aren't the best piece of jewelry in the game for sure but i thought it really suits brienne it's quite out there quite outlandish super different um and of course i go ahead and just give her another short hairstyle but i do have to admit as i was going through the hairs i i took a look at some of the longer hairs on her and i thought god long hair actually really really suits brienne and um, so i definitely think brienne will grow her hair out she won't have it short um for the rest of her life i think it was her fault when she aged up into a teen you know she aged up with short hair and i was like oh okay this girl wants short hair that's fine we can do that um but seeing long hair on her especially in this hair color i think um yeah she's gonna grow her hair out for sure and maybe even get in some extensions when we do her next makeover because i love the long hair on her um like i mentioned before don't forget to let me know what you think we should do in terms of brienne's relationship her love life um she should go with shay jeffrey maybe she sticks with evil ludo who makes her evil um i'm really interested in hearing what you think I think she's done super well in this episode, especially in regards to her skill. Like I said, I love the street art skill. I love the artistic things that actually um, are provided in the game. They are so aesthetically pleasing. And um, so I'll pick up again when we are with Blake. So as we move on to Blake, um, again, I try to give him just a sort of jock influence thing, but actually I, I kind of d dial down his jock style. Um, I, w I wanted to give him the varsity um, jacket, um, but I just couldn't get the colors for it. It's so weird. L looking back at the footage, I definitely saw some color combinations that work, but when I was doing it at the time in cast, I was like, nope, none of these are working. So what I end up doing is really dialing down his sort of jock influence by giving him a very simple t-shirt. Of course, yellow um, is in there as part of his favorite color. Um, so I think with 
Blake is really trying to find the balance in between his nerd influence and his jock influence. So yeah, for so. both Blake and Brienne, I didn't want to make the makeovers too dramatic or too different. Um, but I definitely think um, maybe their next makeover, maybe when they go back to Lucky Palms or maybe when they come back to university, we'll give them more dramatic makeovers as they come into their own. In the cast makeover, because of the CC that I'm using, it looks really, really weird in Creator Sim. Um, but when we go into the game, you'll see that all the glitches, all the lines that you're seeing in cast definitely disappear. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like. It's such a huge encouragement to me and the channel. It's super important to really just keep the motivation and the energy and the power going. So please don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment. Um, you guys know I love hearing from you. And if you've reached this part of the video, you know you need to hit that subscribe button. There's no way you could be watching 25 minutes into this video and not hit that subscribe button. So you go ahead and do that. So it's enough from Blake and Brienne. It's enough from me, Novi. Until next time. Bye.